friends. So I was just looking at page six, the New York Post, and I saw this piece that came out, I guess, last night um, about how Sean Diddy Combs' children are coming out with a reality show that's being done by his son, Quincy Brown. So Quincy Brown apparently dropped a trailer for this new show called Just a Vlog. It's going to come out October 27th or something like that. And it seems that this has really angered a lot of people who feel that Diddy is you know, guilty of all the charges and accusations and that his children should basically just shut up, sit down and don't, you know, put this blog out there to, to irritate people or to try to, I guess, paint a false image of their father as his family man and so on and so forth, given that, you know, there are all these victims who have been victimized by him and who have not yet had their day in court. Um, What do I think about this? Well, look, as I have said, I I mean, and I hope I've made my position on this case very clear, I saw the video of him beating his girlfriend Cassie in that hotel lobby, that hotel hallway. I am horrified, I am disgusted, I'm, you know, I'm speechless really about it. And I think there should be consequences for that, for that assault of his girlfriend. Um, I know that he paid her 30 million in restitution. I think that's a good start. I think more should be done. Mandatory anger management, mandatory domestic violence counseling, some kind of community service and jail, you know, some jail time. If, if they gave him a year to five in jail for, for this, I'm not going to be screaming, oh, what an injustice, right? I've said that. I also said that I don't believe, at least not until up until till this point, that I have seen any evidence of racketeering in this case. You know, I, I think that the prosecutors are very ambitious in bringing a case for racketeering with these facts, but I think it's possible that I don't yet have all the facts because Rico, to my understanding, you know, it's it's a crime that's very sort of nebulous anyway. It's not like a clearly defined crime. But I think one of the key elements of Rico is that your crimes had to have been executed with the motive of um, of making a profit of commercial gain. And if we're, t- we're saying that this video of him beating his girlfriend is your key evidence, and, you know, some sort of three shot, sort of shotguns in his home. And, and the fact that he had these freak offs, I'm not really seeing how all of that, as terrible as it is, add up to Ryko. But I'm not a Ryko expert. So I'm willing to wait to hear the evidence, hear the arguments, hear the facts, and then come to a conclusion about what I think about this Ryko charge at the end of the day. I am not somebody who's on this bandwagon of he's been accused, so everybody should shut up, he should shut up, his children should shut up, and just accept the consequences of these accusations. I think that's very, very, first of all, dangerous for the society because today it's Diddy, tomorrow it's somebody else who's accused, who's expected to shut up, you know, and we don't yet have facts. We don't yet have uh, a trial, a process, due process, right? I mean, in America, we have laws. We are a nation of laws, right? And we have a constitution which guarantees every individual certain rights, such as the right to face your accusers, the right to a, fr- a fair trial, a speedy trial rights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And those rights are enshrined in our national laws for a reason, right? Because without them, many, many people, I mean, and today it's Diddy, tomorrow it's somebody else. Their lives, their rights are in jeopardy, right? That's why we have laws. So for me, it's very important to allow the process 
to work itself out. Now, as far as his children doing a counter PR move and initiative to say, look, there's all this negative stuff about our father out there, all of these allegations, all of these horrific charges pending against our father. The public has already made up their mind. Most people want him just locked up and throw away the key. Don't even bother to have a trial. He's disgusting. He's a monster. Get rid of him. He beat up his girlfriend. And we know a different side of this man. And we want to share that with you as part of the whole sort of buffet of stuff that you as the public need to consider when you make your decision to cast our father into jail for the rest of his life. Here's the man we know, right? I don't have a huge problem with that, right? Because we are all multidimensional as human beings. Again, this is not somebody I would want to hang out with. I don't have any interest in this kind of lifestyle. However, however, I have reached a level of maturity after a certain number of years on this planet to understand that it's not all about me and my lifestyle. There are billions and billions of people on the earth. Everybody has their own lifestyle. They have their own way of being. I'm not their judge and I'm not their jury as a general rule, right? So he led a lifestyle that I don't understand. And quite frankly, it seems if all of these things are true that I don't respect, frankly, and I want nothing to do with. But at the same time, I think he has a right to mount a vigorous defense against these charges to present his own side of the story, to present his own evidence and for his family, if they choose to present a version of him that they know as a counterpoint to all of the other negative, salacious, shocking criminal charges that are, you know, swirling about him in the society. I mean, do I understand why this would be upsetting to people and why it would be upsetting to victims? Yes. You know, especially victims who are being honest about what they say happened here, right? I, I, I understand why they would be upset. They have rights. He has rights. Everybody has rights. Right? But I think his children have the right to support their father, to do it privately, to do it publicly. I think they have a right to show the public the side of their father that they know. Right? And you know, I don't think his reality, the, this reality show by his, his son, um, is it just something brown, not just in the other one. Um, you know, this, this reality show is, is one that, you know, if it's not your cup of tea, nobody is, you know, is mandated to, to watch the show if they don't want to watch the show. I mean, frankly, I probably won't watch the show. I don't even know where to find it. Is it on Netflix? What is this? I, I don't know, but, um, you don't have to watch the show, but I do think that them, you know, presenting a counterpoint to the current carnival circus atmosphere that has been created in this case, where you have people coming out of the woodwork, making all kinds of allegations against their father, some of it credible, some of it absurd. Look, I think that, you know, look, let's, let's put it all out there. And all of this is important, I think, in reaching the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help us all, God. Okay, so that's all for this one is all I have to say on this. I want to wait to hear the evidence. I want to hear the actual evidence in this case. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.